In the Falklands War, the sea harriers had to work without such guidance. So what was their role in the missile age? We knew of Exocet. Of course, we have Exocet in the Royal Navy. And we had a part to play in defending against that threat. The Sea Harrier is the outer ring of defense of the fleet. And as such, we are there to shoot down enemy aircraft who hope to attack the fleet. For the Argentines, what was the most important means of eluding the Sea Harriers? Qué buena pregunta que me acaba de hacer. Uh, realmente uh, no se la puedo responder. Si yo le llegara a responder a usted esta pregunta, le quitaría mucho trabajo al servicio de informaciones inglés. A limitation to the Sea Harriers rapidly became apparent. With our little radar in the Sea Harrier, we couldn't see small fast targets down low over a rough sea. This was a real problem and meant that uh, the Atondar coming in, in the right conditions, could possibly sneak past us and confront the missile systems, uh, which was uh, quite a worry to us. At least 50 Argentine aircraft were shot down during the war. The Sea Harriers, although heavily outnumbered, were responsible for most of these losses. In the case of Ardent, Sea Harriers caught up with the Argentine aircraft just two minutes after the bombing. Y en, encontrándome desarrollando esas maniobras, sentí un fuerte impacto en la cola que me dejó el avión sin control, sin posibilidad de seguir girando o de hacer maniobras evasivas. El avión se encabritó, empezó a mover su nariz hacia arriba, temblaba. Eh, traté de corregir ese movimiento. Con las dos manos empujaba el bastón hacia atrás, tratando de volver el vuelo a la normalidad, pero el bastón parecía soldado al piso. No respondía a los controles. Miré a mi izquierda, vi un numeral haciendo escape, y miro a la derecha y veo un avión Sea Harrier que se aproximaba como si fuera para un remate. ¿Mm? Ya lo veía como se acomodaba detrás mío, así que dije, esto está todo perdido. The Navy were very pleased with the performance of the Sea Harrier. In particular with its handling qualities. It has a remarkable wing which allows it to be flown without trepidation at very slow speed. And of course it's got the fabled nozzles which allow you to decelerate very quickly and to give you one or two more advantages in combat. So, we took advantage of its handling qualities at slow speed to develop the tactics that we use for the aeroplane in combat. No Sea Harriers were ever lost in air-to-air -air combat. Their main weapon was this, the Sidewinder missile. Most Argentine aircraft had no equivalent weapon. The British believed that their success was due in part to the tactics of their opponents. I think their command realized that as they were quite a long way from the amphibious landing point, 300 odd miles, they wanted to maintain their assets, keep them alive, so that they could deliver ordnance against the ground forces rather than uh, play against Sea Harrier. I think it was entirely the wrong tactic, and I'm quite certain the Argentine pilots would much preferred to have taken on the Sea Harrier, outnumber it, and hopefully for them, Shoot, shoot a few of us down. We'd been born of a generation of fighter pilots in the fleet air arm who'd been engaged in many minor actions since World War II, and we'd been benefiting from all their experience and practicing their art. We didn't want to practice all our lives without fighting, so we were excited, a bit apprehensive, of course, but very keen that uh, it should happen.